comparing fonts and some of the best free tools out there to help you pair your fonts so you can make great KDP covers or print-on-demand products. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online with low-content products such as KDP low-content books, printables and digital planners. So in this video, I'm going to go through some of the tools and some of the places that you can actually go about finding out about font pairing and tools that will actually help you create some decent fonts. First, before I show you all the different websites that can help you create some great font pairings, I want to talk to you about different tips that will actually help you decide. The first tip is you need to actually make sure that your font is legible, that it's easy to read and that it can be seen, especially when you're doing KDP low content books, because most customers on Amazon are now purchasing on their mobile or cell device. And what that means is that they've got a tiny, tiny thumbnail and sometimes people cannot actually read the font on there. So you are losing sales because they cannot actually see what it says about that. So you need to make sure that your fonts are legible. And sometimes with script fonts, we often see that that is not the case. The next thing is you shouldn't use more than three fonts. You should really be sticking to the two font rule. Now, often you'll see that there is one font for a heading, another font for a subheading and another font for, especially when it comes to web design or article design. And we can also use the same theory when it comes to designing our covers for KDP or our printables or our digital planners. The next thing is you should think about mixing different fonts together or pairing them such as traditional and script. What you shouldn't have is script with script. And sometimes you shouldn't have traditional with traditional, but you can get away with it if you start using different thickness and thinness as well. So you can have two sans serif font fonts together or serif fonts together. But as long as you're using different thickness or thinness and different size of fonts, that will actually help you. Now, the first site that I'm going to show you is Canva because Canva's actually got quite a decent learn section where you can learn about different graphic skills. And one of them is where it talks about fonts. Now, they used to have a font pairing generator, but now what they give you is this article and there is a link to a font generator, but it goes nowhere. But it actually talks about the anatomy of topography and it also talks to you about topography lottery. So it talks to you what a serif is, what a sans serif is, what a script is, what a slab serif is, alignment and hierarchy. It also gives you examples of 30 different designs where it is using different fonts, pairing different fonts and sometimes using the exact same font, but it's paired them differently by actually changing the size of the font and changing it, whether it's bold or italic or whether it is a thin size. So I'll leave a link down in the description for this. There's also an article about serif versus sans serif and it explains to you what it is. So you'll see the top one that's in white here, that's actually serif and the sans serif is this one in black and basically what it means is it's took away all these like tails at the end of the letters. Now, another site that actually walks you through and tells you what each one is, is myfonts.com. Now, you can purchase your fonts from here. A lot of these you need to check the license with if it is for commercial use. But I'm not here to actually show you the um, fonts here. I'm just here to show you that it explains what each one is, sans serif, slab serif, serif display, handwritten and script. Now, another place that does great font pairings is this one here called fontpair.co. And what they're actually showing you is all the Google fonts. Now, the reason why this is a great site is because Google font is free. 
And not only that, they are free for commercial use. So you can use them in your KDP books. You can use them on your print on demand, whether it be T-shirts or on your printables or on your digital planners. In fact, you can use it for anything. You can use it for your websites as well. And here it shows you all the different ones that come together. Now, there's another website that actually pairs Google fonts together where you can personally choose your own fonts. Now, this is great because what you need to do is it allows you to generate. Now, if you cannot see this dark one, it doesn't matter because you can actually click on here and it changes it to a lighter one. Now, it's actually showing you the different pairings automatically there. This is great because you've got a mixture of sans serif and serif together. You've also got a mixture of thick and thin and um, different sizes as well. Now what you can do with this is simple. You can click generate and it actually starts generating you different ones and you can download these. So if you click on say this one here, it actually goes to Google font and it finds all the family for you to download. Same with this one here, font pair. If you like what you see, this one you can click on and it automatically downloads to your device. So that's one way. Say you like this thin sans serif style and you actually want to keep that. What you can do is lock it and then generate it again. And then it brings a different ones. Now you've got two thin ones together, so you might not like that. Again, you might change that and you might decide, yes, I like that one, but I don't like that one. And all you need to do is you keep going. Now, say you wanted to change this one. What you can do is you can click on here and it will change. Say you wanted anyone that's a slab and serif. What you can do is you can start typing here and it gives you all like the slab style. So refer to slab and then you can carry on. So you could lock that one and unlock that one and then generate and again doing different things. So that is the first styles of doing font pairing. But another thing that you've got to be concerned about, especially when you're doing covers, is also your different colors. Now a great site to actually check this is Color Contrast or it's Coolers. Co. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description. What this does is it shows you background color with your text color. Now, black on white is absolutely great and fantastic. But if we change this background color and went sort of down here, it's saying that it's a poor color because it's not great to read. And that one definitely is very poor. In fact, that one is so bad we can't see it because it's white on white. Now, if we change that down to black, again, we'd get back to our top one. But if we changed it here, you can actually see it's going from super to poor. So that's sort of helping us here. So maybe that needs to be brought down to a darker color. So that's the sort of thing that you can do so you can make sure. And it also gives you the hex codes. So those are all the different free sites that you can use to help you actually pair your fonts. And don't forget in Canva itself, there's some great pairings even in the free account as well. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified about any other videos I make.